Imagine her like, excuse me, can you throw the fish? This is you, raw, unfiltered, and local. Yeah, that's on my grinder profile. <laughs> These books are very cool, but it almost looks like you're about to write a spell. Mess. You're not. I'm a you're mess. You're doing great. I don't know where to put this stupid phone. You wanna? All right, let's a lot go. Of Let me know you're ready. <laughs> what up, Seattle? Jesus Christ. So we're in Seattle today. We're at Public Market Center, Farmers. Everyone calls it Pike or Pike Place. I'm with Caitlin Palufo. She's a great comedian. She opens for me on the road a lot. We're just gonna kind of walk around Seattle and uh, see what's up. There we go. There we go. Of course. <laughs> Enjoy the day. They all said it at the same time. Just a gaggle of women. So bubbly. Okay. Oof. A wave of fish. That's gonna be you, fish boy. Okay. So the place we're looking for is called Store. Storyville. Then we can walk around and look at all these markets. I think this is the Latin market. Oh, it looks like good Latin food. I don't know. Is it over here? Latin? Excuse me, do y'all know where Storyville Cafe is? Oh, up here, okay. I can't tell if everyone is a fisherman here. There's like a fine line between fisherman and hipster, and I don't really know what the difference is. I had to get out of the chaos of fish, of seafood, because I'm allergic to seafood. So I'm just walking around smelling my own death. <laughs> when I tell someone that I'm allergic to seafood, it is as if I said I've murdered multiple people in my life. Why are you so offended that I can't have seafood? More shop. By the time you get to the coffee place, you're over the coffee. We gotta talk to someone. We'll go to the yarn place. I'm trying to find Storyville Coffee and I don't think it exists. This is, it, is it this door or that door? Past the river, under the bridge, <laughs> find the troll, answer the question three. A wall will be revealed to you. Pull the right book from the bookshelf. And then you get caffeine. It's not a very good payoff. And then, <laughs> I feel like I'm dressed up like Ralph in, what's that movie, A Christmas Story? Like, I can't put my eyes down! <laughs> Top floor. This coffee's gonna be good. This coffee better fucking be good. <laughs> I said fucking in the wrong way, so it sounded like <laughs> I was implying sex. Hey. Oh, this looks good. Lo crazy. trovato. Okay. A couple things about Seattle. The needle. When you're little, you think the needle is the tallest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And then I came to Seattle for the first time when I was 16, and we were going up the elevator, and they were like, this is the seventh tallest building in Seattle. And I was like, <laughs> what? But um, Seattle's really pretty, and it's usually, it's always rain. This is another thing about Seattle that I didn't realize, is that you guys don't like umbrellas. No one has umbrellas, none. If it rains, you just accept the rain. Uh, what is this? The rain's forced you into submission. It's humiliating. Yeah. How many times have you been here? A lot. I've been here probably like 10 times. I like Seattle a lot. Yeah. It's a cool city. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're excited to do for our 36 hours in Seattle? I would like to see you catch a fish. No, I don't want to smell like fish. Il café buona. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go where they throw the fish, I guess. I'm not even sure how this tradition happened. Fish in general, they're just so slimy. I, well, we'll see. I think it's this guy. But where do they throw it from? Shouldn't it go? Imagine her like, excuse me, can you throw the fish? This is you, raw, unfiltered, and local. Yeah, that's on my grinder profile. It's a gum, oh, the gum wall's over here, Mateo. I thought he said a gumball. I was like, <laughs> gumball? Get back here, there's a gumball. <laughs> I was like, Caitlin, I'm, I mean. You're I'm, gonna love it. The, <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I already see it, how gross. There's Why do people do that? Be, you know, it's tradition, it's tradition. I mean, just graffiti it like normal people. Oh my God. I'll give you $5 to also, touch what, it. <laughs> what's the best way to spread COVID? <laughs> it's just, what are we accomplishing? That is crazy. Also, it's like, if this is all surviving for so long, what's happening when we swallow gum? I will Hang say out. it is kind of cool. Look at the ones that they turned into little hearts. Creative. Some of them are so big and gross. I'm like, ew, how much gum was in your mouth? That? Someone's just like, like a horse. Did they bring a horse over here? Look at this one, just. <coughs> that's like, a, uh, like an unfinished pop. Actually, that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> this just looks, just looks like. That is. That's okay, gum. now it's just like a. Christmas decoration. Now it's a gingerbread house. This is like no, twisted here. Christmas. Let's well, see what's up here. Oh my God, it's everywhere. I think this is like a, Chris, this is worse than the haunted house. I would take that haunted house over any day of the week. The biggest tourist attraction is a wall of gum and then they throw fish. You know, it's like St. Louis, like we have this arch. <laughs> We're gonna sit on this pig. The times I've said that. <laughs> I'm gonna side saddle it. There you go, you look uh. good. <laughs> Shall I hold you like this? Who's a big boy? When the fish goes away, it does smell good. They're throwing it. They're throwing the fish. <laughs> oh. Would never date him. Someone's gonna buy that fish. This is nice. Is this like dresses for mini nanas? More seafood. I don't understand what lobsters even are. They're kind of oh. gross. You have to like cook them in order to get the meat? Oh, that is kind of the life though, right? Just to like be an earthy person, make candles and sell 
you know, at the market all day. These mangoes actually look really good. We had mangoes with tahini and lime. Oh, there's chocolate a chocolate pasta. pasta. What is chocolate pasta? Look at this. Ma chi sta mangiando questa farfadella di cioccolate? Oh boy. Oh, habanero. Ooh, this is also you, Matteo. What? Fanciful fruit. <laughs> I would not recommend that pot. Oh, my fanciful fruit already brings the heat. <laughs> We're having fun. Thank you. It's the dumbest thing I've ever said. I don't think there's a single Italian in Seattle. Uh, these books are very cool, but it almost looks like you're about to write a spell. <laughs> I swear, is it still fucking dumb? How much fish do these people eat? I don't know. What happens if they don't eat all the fish? Where does the fish go? Oh, I think the first Starbucks is around here. The first Starbucks? This is it, I think. No one ever talks about this, but the Starbucks mermaid is just like legs open, like here's my puss. Look at it. She's hold first of all, she's got two fins and she's holding them open like Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I've been that Starbucks mermaid so many times. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Be, it's one block. Do you wanna go there? There it is, Starbucks. You okay, Chris? You fall down? <laughs> Chris is so intently into his work, he almost died. You know we're gonna walk in and it's still gonna be two homosexuals working there, barely being able to pay attention to us. <laughs> we have to wait in the line, but Chris, look, see, look at the look at the mermaid. <laughs> See? Am I wrong? Yeah, no. But it is interesting to see. I guess it's the first one. If you're a Starbucks head, is that what they're called? Do you know what the problem is, Chris, is that I want to make fun of stuff, but they're, they're just like inches away from you. Oh, there's no one here. Make fun of this lotion. What a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> Imagine the confidence to be like, I'm just going to wear a Starbucks sweater. Oh, this is for you, Mateo. A little Pikachu bow tie. Honestly, that. it is kind of cute. Oh, that smells so good. There's tamales. Sorry. There is a guy in Chicago. If you're in Chicago, you know this. Usually around Lakeview. He's just called the tamales guy. And he has all these tamales with him. And he walks in like we'll be in the middle of a show. And he says, tamales, tamales, tamales. And everyone's like, me, 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 me. And they're so good. And I, it was so normal to me that last time I was in Chicago, he came through and someone was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, it's a thing. Oh, this is really Oh pretty. my God. Is, some sort of documentary? is that the best joke you could come up with? Yes, we're documenting <laughs> homosexuals looking at nature. <laughs> it's very rare. Look at how pretty this is. I mean, this sounds, I, this is, this is how you know you live in a city. I looked at this and I said, oh my God, it's like an open world video game. It's making me think of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, there's another pig. You want to pose with another pig? I do. But they're pig hooves. Seattle, Seattle. These are pretty. That rainy town. This is your dad's artwork? I will show you around. What a good sign. I love it. Throwing fish and eating crabs. Where's your dad right now? Catching fish in, in Syria. Seattle. Oh, in studio. I was like, I, oh I my God. You theater. are a good Now, this is the straightest I've ever felt. Like, my wife is out looking at stuff and I'm ready to go home. I'm like, honey. Right. Honey, we need art for the den. That's, yeah, we sure do. <laughs> and I just go drink. I really liked that pig. <laughs> What about the view, honey? Uh -huh. <laughs> Carving into wood to me is just like a horny guy in the forest was trying to fuck a tree and he carved a hole into it and then he was like, oh, you know, it's kind of pretty, I could sell this. Ooh, the truffle queen. It is I, uh, the truffle queen. <laughs> Remember two years ago, everyone was like, Teslas are so cool. Now, because of Elon Musk, you look at it, you're like, ugh. Oh my God, Mateo. What? Look at that. What? Oh, that was it? You just go up these stairs? Yes. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> well, we've seen it. <laughs> All right, well, we did it in Seattle. We walked around the famous public market center. We saw fish. Yeah, we saw them throw the fish. That was we exciting. We saw them throw the fish. You know what, I'll be honest, it was exciting. <laughs> I was excited by he it. He also made the little mouth talk. That was fun. That's it's a little, little patronizing to the fish. <laughs> a lot of like tchotchkes. Yes, a lot of uh, Starbucks sweaters. And a lot then... of fish, a lot of tchotchkes, a lot of fake pasta. A lot of soap. A lot of sort of like witchy looking people selling mm -hmm. stuff. And then they would get too excited and they would just come closer and be like, do you want to buy this? And you're like, no, it's just looking. Like, I don't, I don't think I need chocolate fettuccine. I'm not. I mean, um, well, Caitlin, where can people find you? Uh, at Caitlin Palufo. I'm yep. everything. <laughs> Great. Okay. And uh, <laughs> see me on Tour in the Al Dente Tour, Also, I have merch now, MateoLaneComedy.com.